Hey, welcome to my channel. My name's Claire and this is me. So if you've watched my videos before, uh, you're probably kind of surprised because this is the first time I've ever shown my face on camera. Usually I am a faceless YouTuber and I don't ever show my face, but this is the first time I've ever shown my face on camera. So this is kind of like my face reveal. I've had several comments in the past asking for a face reveal and I haven't done it and I didn't really think about doing it and I finally decided that I think it is time to actually do that. My content is still going to be the same. It's all going to be art related, but I'm going to be showing my face a lot more and I also feel like I'll have other opportunities to do different types of videos. Another thing I wanted to do today is I wanted to look through my last sketchbook. So this is the sketchbook that I uh, finished. I actually finished this a while back ago. I've been using my new sketchbook for a little while um, and I never made a video going through this sketchbook at all. So I figured that today I could just uh, go through it all and show you guys. You should just know before I go into this, there's gonna be a lot of drawings that aren't finished. I will give up on drawings sometimes because I'm kind of a perfectionist. So if uh, sometimes if a drawing doesn't look like amazing, I just don't finish it. So there's probably gonna be quite a few drawings that aren't finished or ones that are just sketches and look good and I just didn't finish for some reason. I do that sometimes, but majority of the drawings in here are finished and I actually really like this sketchbook. Okay, so we're gonna look through this sketchbook and yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna be looking through this sketchbook now and um, we'll open it up to the first page. So, okay, the first page. Looky there, it's unfinished. I drew this girl and even though she looks fine, like there's nothing wrong with her, I didn't color in her skin, which is the only thing I needed to color in. When uh, you get a new sketchbook and you open the first page, there's like so much pressure to make sure the first picture is like perfect. Obviously this first picture wasn't perfect. It's not bad, but for some reason I just did not like finish coloring it in. Um, here's this drawing. I actually recreated this drawing. I have this old sketchbook where I drew this drawing. I did it with my uh, friend and I was looking through my old sketchbooks once and I kind of thought like, oh, that's actually a, like, if I did that again, that would be a really cute drawing. So I did it again and I switched up the colors. Actually what happened was the girl's hair is purple in the original drawing that I made. And I forgot during uh, painting this, I totally forgot. And that's why her hair is just brown. So I forgot that and I was like, oops. So I ended up just doing her eyes and her t-shirt purple to make up for that. But I actually think it looks really good. Anyways, let's go on to the next drawing. Okay, here's Yashiro from Toilet Bound Harukukan. I really like that show. Well, it's more of like just a manga series because there's not really much of the show. There's only a couple episodes, but I drew the main character. I definitely could draw her better. She looks pretty good, but it was my first time working with different type of uh, like markers. Um, I actually made a video of this with my friend and you guys can check that out. So I was using these markers right here actually. They're the Arteza watercolor markers. And it's just because I totally didn't know how to use them very well that the coloring is kind of splotchy and stuff. It was kind of an experimental drawing. There was no blonde color of these watercolor markers and I wanted to just use them. So that's why her hair is gray at the top. Anyways, I do like this drawing. It was kind of an experimental drawing though just because I had never used the art supplies before. Next page is actually me testing out the Arteza watercolor markers. There's nothing much there. I just did them all i actually put water on this one and you can see that i wrote my name a couple times and did some squiggly lines the thing about this drawing is it looks really good besides the fact that you can see the mouth underneath like i had such a hard time drawing this mouth for some reason i drew it over and over again and when you do that too many times the pencil markings basically are there forever so you can pretty much see how her mouth used to look like this and then I changed it. Besides that, I really do like the drawing, but I was just really upset that I tried and tried and could not get that 
pencil markings to go away but it does look really cute and i do really like this drawing okay let's go to the next one i love this drawing so much this one is so cute I made it like they're taking a selfie together i really like that i put these like little things on the side so it actually looks like they're taking a picture which is so fun to make and also i made it and i was like oh my gosh i actually really like this drawing so yeah i especially like the person in the front um they both look like girls i have a problem with when i try to draw boys they turned out looking like girls so every time i ch i this was green one it was supposed to be a boy it does not look like a boy it looks like a girl that's just a problem and then i think i gave up and gave him eyelashes so it's a girl now i guess but this drawing looks really cute i wrote little the words cheese here anyways i really really like this drawing especially the eyes you can tell i did use the arteza watercolor markers on this one and i did it a lot better than the last drawing um but you can also tell that i did color pencils and i also think i used some alcohol markers as well okay oh i love this drawing okay i drew deku four times and the reason it's not finished or outlined is because i was scared that if i outlined it and colored it in i might mess it up for this drawing so i kind of just left it as a sketch but i really like it especially this one right here i think that this one's my favorite um yeah but i just tried to do that that was when i was trying to practice trying to draw deku and I also put a piece of paper here just because uh, for a while I didn't and you can see that there's like pencil markings from the uh, drawing right here. So I put this piece of paper here so it wouldn't like smudge it all off. Okay, this was me trying to make Bakugo and I drew one good Bakugo. He's pretty good. And then I drew a head and that was it. I did not finish it. Okay, this is the like little comic book i made so it's like a little comic strip of spy family and it's several pages long hey this is me while i'm editing this video right now so the comic strip is actually kind of long so i'm going to be putting it at the end of this video for you guys to check it out let's get back to the video okay this is a sketch this one's actually really cute she's eating some ice cream the hands are a little wonky. I think I forgot to give her another finger on that hand, but it is really cute. I actually really like the way I made this one. It is a very cute sketch. Asuna, this one actually turned, I totally finished and I was like really happy with this one. This is Asuna from Sword Art Online and I drew her right here. She looks really good. I'm actually still really happy with this drawing. So yeah, I used color pencils throughout the whole thing and then i got lazy and ended up using some uh, alcohol markers for like the red parts it is so hard to draw with just colored pencils like this hair it is so hard to draw with just colored pencils like this hair is all colored pencils so my hand was killing me by the end okay this drawing i like it so much it's like my favorite drawing in this whole sketchbook like look at it i was so happy with this when i drew this i don't usually draw sideways in my sketchbook like this i should do more drawing sideways like this but anyways like she looks so good and her eyes are so pretty and the like hands like this anyways i'm like super happy with this drawing definitely my favorite and doing yellow for the background i think was a really good idea it just looks super cool I was in um, science class and I got bored, so I brought my sketchbook and I drew a sketch of Todoroki. The thing is, is I did not bring anything besides just a pencil, so that's why he was never really finished. He actually looked pretty good, though. So, yeah, and I don't think I was looking at a reference for him since I was in science class, but yeah, it looks pretty good. And here is Jiro from My Hero Academia. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. In the show, there's this one uh, episode where they do this whole like um, performance and she sings and stuff. So this is her like practicing for it and she's got the headphones on and the guitar. I love this drawing so much still, it looks so good. I also cheated my way out of drawing a hand because there was no room left on the page. So I didn't have to draw a hand really. I did have to draw a thumb, but yeah. I really like this drawing of her. She looks super cool, and I especially like her hair. 
next drawing. So this next drawing is another sketch. There's a lot of sketches in this sketchbook. Um, she looks really cute, actually. I should finish her. She's super cute looking. I love this drawing so much. This drawing is Mitsuba from Toilet Bound Hanukkah Kun. And in the show, he has a camera. So I decided to draw him with his little camera, like he's looking into it. I think he looks super cute, especially the scarf. Everything about this. I made this drawing and I was like super happy with it. So yeah, I I very much like this drawing. I decided to draw Minamoto Cow. And um, yeah, I was really happy with him. He looks pretty good. Why? There's so many drawings I didn't finish. I have no idea. I have no idea why I didn't finish this drawing. He looks so good. This drawing so good. I really should finish this one. This drawing is like a sketch I was looking at. I went on Pinterest, searched uh, different emotions because I wanted to kind of do different emotions. So I tried to do a girl crying, which I actually think I did a really good job. I, I really like this girl right here crying. She looks really good. I tried to make a tiny little like comic strip about it, but it's only three drawings, but I do think it's pretty cute. Yeah, I really, I do really like the way this turned out. This girl I really like, she's really cute. I drew her out of my head, which I was really proud about, like, cause I draw characters a lot. So sometimes I am like, oh, I'm gonna draw just a person out of my head. So I drew this girl during the winter time, of course, it was near Christmas, and I think she looks really good. I like that I did this, so you can kind of tell, you can see her breath, because it's so cold out. Okay, so I drew Kyo Soma from Fruits Baskets, which is like one of my favorite animes. Um, I drew him really big, and then I decided to fill the space to add him like chibi versions. This one is my favorite. And then I drew a little Toru rice ball at the top, keep saying that some drawings are my favorites but then I see another one and I'm like wait I think that one's my favorite but I really really like this strawberry girl especially the way I did the hand I did the hand really well I did a really good job with the strawberry and her eyes look so good anyways yeah I really like this drawing okay this is unfinished also just a sketch but this is Vinti from Genshin Impact and I was like obsessed with playing Genshin Impact for a really long time. So I decided to draw Vinti. I didn't finish him, but he looks really good as a sketch. Oh, here is my Pagey Cats. I actually made a short a while ago before this and it was about how to draw cats and it like blew up and so many people were watching it and I still get comments about that video to this day. So I decided to make another how to draw cats drawing because so many people liked the first one. So I did these cats and I think they're a little bit more realistic than the other ones. I definitely like the cat going to get the ball the most. He's my favorite cat. Okay, here's another Genshin Impact character, and I really like this drawing. This is Fremine from Genshin Impact, and I remember I played the game for a really long time to try to, like, unlock him for free, and I got him, and then I was like, I'm gonna draw him, and I drew his little penguin. Okay, so this is Shinsu from My Hero Academia. Decided to draw him. I think he looks pretty good. It was really fun to draw. Okay, so this drawing I had really fun with. Uh, me and my brother did this drawing together. So it's Nezuko from Demon Slayer and uh, my brother drew one side, he drew this side and I drew the other over here. There's actually two shorts about this. We did one short which was us doing like the sketch and the other one was us finishing the drawing. Here is a drawing of Todoroki that I did. I really like this drawing. He looks super cool. Um, you can see the ice right here, and then I put fire over here, and he's kind of in a really cool pose, so yeah. Um, he's also from My Hero Academia, if you didn't know. Sometimes I would draw, like, two or three little characters, and it's like a tiny little, like, comic strip, sort of. Like, this girl crying, and then her, like, friend goes over and hugs her. I really like the way this little cute scene is. It looks, like, adorable. This was me practicing hands. Um, so I was just practicing doing the hands. All of these hands look really good though. So yeah, that was just me practicing. And this was my Valentine's Day drawing. So Valentine's Day was coming up and I thought 
that maybe I should do a Valentine's Day drawing. So this is the drawing I did. I drew it and then I kind of thought it looked empty and that's why I drew the heart around them. But yeah, this drawing is really cute. I drew another drawing that is kind of like a Valentine's Day drawing and I just did a sketch of it. I have no idea why I did not finish this because it is so good. It's another toilet bound Hanukkah kind of drawing because you can tell I'm obsessed with that anime. It's of one of the mangas and I forget which one it was, um, but I'll pop up a picture of what it looks like. There was art inside right before the like book started. There was like some art inside of it and it was of this drawing and it looked so pretty. So I really wanted to go ahead and do that. And I did a really good job. They look super pretty and I don't know why I didn't finish it, but yeah, they both look really, really pretty in this drawing. Okay, so this I did a little uh, sketch of out of my head and it's just like two people and they're listening uh, through headphones. I don't know if headphones are really this long because this cord is really long, but <laughs> they look really cute. It, I also did this near Christmas time. That's why it's in winter and stuff. So I drew this girl because I was trying to do something different than what I usually draw, a different kind of style. I think I found a picture on Pinterest that, and I kind of copied it um, and tried to draw something like that. Um, I think I changed her outfit though and her hair, but yeah, I actually really like this girl. She looks really good. I think I did a good job on the skirt and everything. Here is a sketch this is of Karapika from Hunter Hunter. I drew him here with his chains and he looks really cool. This page has a pancake on it. That's it, I just drew a pancake. I think I was planning on drawing more than just one food but i just drew some pancakes for some reason okay so this drawing i really like this drawing and it's actually the last page of the sketchbook it's this girl and she's looking inside of a fish tank and i made a youtube video about it and um i really like this drawing the reason i kind of had trouble with it was because it looked like she was inside of the fish tank and I added this brown border around it, and I think that really helps so you can tell it is a fish tank that she's looking into, and the white lines helped a lot too. So yeah, and there's one more drawing in here, um, but I think I ripped it out of my sketchbook, so I ended up just stuffing it in the back. Um, and there's one more drawing in here, um, but I think I ripped it out of my sketchbook, so I ended up just stuffing it in the back. I really like this drawing. I was so happy with it it is uh like this girl holding some flowers and i think those are the best hands i've probably ever drawn and i drew the bouquet and everything and her hair the whole drawing just looks like super pretty so, so that's actually the whole sketchbook i really like most of the drawings in here and it took me a long time to fill it up um there's definitely less stickers on this sketchbook than the one i have now um, I went sticker overboard on the sketchbook I have now. You can't even see black on the front cover. There's stickers everywhere, but yeah. So that is my whole last finished sketchbook. Thank you for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I will be posting videos like this where I show my face and stuff like that. Um, maybe I'll go and show you guys my old sketchbooks of my really old art that's interesting. Um, maybe I'll go and show some other sketchbooks in a different video or something like that. But for now, um, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see whenever my new videos release. I will be trying to upload a lot more often. I'm going to try to upload weekly. So um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!